Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Stephen. My name is Stephen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk about how I've been feeling lately. And lately I've been feeling kind of melancholy. And that might be a little hard for me to explain, but I'll do my best. So for me, melancholy is just a feeling of like, I'm not like really sad. I'm not feeling really depressed. But I'm not happy and I'm not feeling overjoyed. It's kind of like in the middle for me. Somewhere in the middle. Where I just feel kind of... I mean, it's not all bad. Like, I feel kind of relaxed. A little bit zen even. And it's just a... I don't know, it's an interesting feeling. Being melancholy. And i felt like this before. But I don't think I've ever been able to put a word to it before, really. Just felt kind of... Meh. Uh, but now I think I... I consider that melancholy at least for me and um, lately I've really realized that is how I feel uh, for two reasons specifically one I actually have a playlist on Amazon music that I called melancholy filled with songs that are kind of just kind of more relaxed more sad a little somber some just you know not like dance music just more more toned down more relaxed like uh, Matchbox 20, Unwell, for example. I love that song. I kind of relate to that in a way. Um, yeah, in the song he goes, I'm not crazy, I'm just feeling a little unwell. I kind of like that a lot, actually. I feel like I can relate to that a bit. Um, so I have songs like that on there, too. Hold up, <laughs> real quick. Uh, I'm at this park by the library, and it's kind of hilarious. Uh, there's a peacock right here. I don't know if I can, there you go. Came to crash the video here. Yeah, okay, he's just gonna be in the background then. <laughs> That's fine. Um, where was, yeah, so, uh, I also really realized that, um, even like, cause I love video games, right? And lately I've been playing a game called Spirit Fair which is also a very melancholy, very relaxed game. And it kind of makes me feel even more how I've already been feeling. In the game, you are a spirit fairer, or lead spirit fairer rather, and you're trying to help these spirits uh, send off to the end, really. Not in a violent way, just in a you know peaceful, kind, happy way. And you want to make sure they have everything they need, they're fed well with the right food they like, the right accommodations, it's really nice and then really emotional and sad because you know they're gonna pass on so whatever's beyond but uplifting and happy too you can give them hugs and stuff it's actually really nice and yeah it's a very melancholy game I think masterpiece honestly too I'm loving it but it kind of makes me feel exactly how I've been feeling lately and I felt this way in the past too just again never been able to put a, a word to it you know and it's not a bad feeling necessarily. It is very zen for me. I just kind of feel even more relaxed, you know, little, I don't know, just more relaxed and kind of zen. So I don't necessarily dislike this feeling. Sure, I'd rather be happier, but well, I don't know. I'm not going to complain about that and not feeling uh, horribly down or anything. So yeah, not necessarily a big deal to me. And it's not like a really scary feeling to me. It's not like distressing to me to feel like this. It's just, like I said, kind of zen and relaxed. So I think that's all I had for this video when it comes to me talking about feeling melancholy. However, I am at Mulaga Cove. Actually, there's a library right here. And if you'd like to join me for the rest of my walk while I'm here, totally welcome to do that. I will show you more of this peacock right here actually and we'll start there if that sounds good so there we go let me just show you real quick I'm gonna flip the camera and get you a good shot of this where is that guy oh there he is I don't know if you can really see him very well he is back there I know it's a male because he's got all the feathers he's kind of back there Anyway, here in the PV, we do have peacocks, 
Um, they look really nice. We don't have them exactly in our neighborhood. However, they will ruin your car. They just, <laughs> they like to hop on cars and they scratch it up. It's pretty terrible. So we're, I'm happy they don't live down at the part of the hill where I live. <laughs> Because they're also very loud and kind of annoying in that regard. Nice to look at. Wouldn't want to live near them. Also, they're not very bright, like at all. Uh, if they, if you're driving and they're in the middle of the road, they will stay in the middle of the road and they will not, uh, they will not budge or move unless they feel they want to. Uh, even if they don't sense there's any danger from a car coming at them. Hey, uh, peacocks. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I used to come to this library here, actually. The Malaga Cove Library. Show you guys that. Uh, a few times as a kid, I remember they had like special events here. I believe I came to a few of those. This isn't the library I would come to as often. That would be the Peninsula Library. It's a PV library up, more up the hill from where I live. Um, but yeah, I remember coming here a few times in the past when I was a kid, uh, getting a book or two. Yeah. It's really nice here too. A lot of, a lot of green. A lot of green. And this, oh, look at that. Hold up. Beautiful tree. It's just really relaxed and nice nature here. <laughs> and if you've seen a lot of my videos lately, especially, you'll know I do like nature and relaxing and taking a nice walk in nature like this. It's nice, it's peaceful, a little melancholy. <laughs> good for the soul um, yeah it's just nice nice to rest reset your mind a bit in nature yeah it's really nice I am enjoying this yeah it's also a beautiful day out too nice and sunny a little windy but it feels good yeah yeah so as for what I've been doing uh, I've been doing a lot of work as you noticed, but I've been trying to relax more too. I was working pretty much non-stop for a while now, um, even behind the scenes from what you haven't seen. And I'm trying now to also take a little more time to relax because that's important too, you know. If you're not relaxing, you're not going to work as well either. You know, you got to find a good balance there of work and of life. All right, you know, all work, no play. That's the old saying. You know, make Jack a dull boy. Should finish that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Feels nice to be taking a little rest for today. Well, okay, I'm recording a video, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Didn't plan on recording this today, but I thought I'd show you what it does feel like. It's for me feeling melancholy. And you know what? I don't mind. I love making these videos. It's been a lot of fun for me. And that's something I can't say I felt before. It's getting really windy. I'm gonna try to speak up in case you can't hear me. But for a while, it was really hard to make these videos. Uh, I covered a lot of really hard topics for me. Really hard. You know, especially early on, I talked about like my suicidal thoughts, right? Because I was suicidal for a while. I talked about my stay at the Resnick, UCLA Resnick Neuropsychiatric, Neuropsychiatric Hospital, I talked about tons of stuff. And yeah, that was a lot. But it's been really cathartic making these videos and you know, I'm enjoying them even more now than I ever did before. It's gotten easier for me to record. It's gotten, like I said, more fun even. I've been able to talk, I think even more concisely. I've noticed that. Um, early on my videos also were a lot shorter and I think I'm learning how to, and I'll be a YouTuber and talk more about everything really. And it's also been a little eye-opening to me too to see how much I can grow and learn and change for the better doing these YouTube videos where, I mean I've learned a new, tons of new skills doing this. And that's just been really cool for me too, to, you know, do something really creative like this. And it's been great. Of course, all your feedback, it's been amazing as well. Not feedback, but support in your comments. And 
yeah, it's just been incredible. I'm absolutely loving this. To me, I have like the best job in the world and I'm absolutely loving it. I think you can see the uh, beautiful fountain back there too. You're closer actually. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna show you this fountain. Just might as well, right? It's nice. Oh, it's a beautiful view here. Yeah. All right, so you know what? Before I sign off here, we are not that far away from a local landmark. And you know what? I'm gonna walk down there and I wanna show you this. It's a statue of, I guess it's King Neptune or Poseidon? I forget exactly if they're the same person or not, or mythological person, you know? Uh, it's not that far, so I'm just gonna walk over here. Super windy today. Hope you can hear me. Really hope you can hear me. And, uh, yeah. So I actually did a report on this, uh, the statue, because when I was in like third grade or something, we had to do a report on a local landmark. And I chose this fountain, and it's not very far from here, literally. Like, I am a couple minutes away, and I want to show you this. It's going to be really cool, I think, for you to see. It's a nice statue. It's also a fountain, actually. The King Neptune Fountain, I believe. And, yeah. It's also just beautiful here. I used to come here sometimes with one of my cousins, and we would just do take photos here, do some photography around here, because it's just beautiful, very... Mediterranean looking I think not just I think it is very Mediterranean looking actually and we are almost there there's also a little shopping center here I used to come here a long time ago when I was little uh, with my dad there's a I don't know if it's still there really but there's like a little deli that had like the best pretzel bread baguettes that was amazing and actually a little over to the left over there it's the left? Yeah, it's the left. Is my psychiatrist's office. So, yeah. All right, we're almost there. So, yeah. It's also nice that this is really local, especially my psychiatrist, because uh, it's just nice not to have to go more than like, I don't know, 10 minutes from your house, my house to get to um, my psychiatrist. So that's cool. Makes it easier to, you know, go see my psychiatrist. Who I'll hopefully be seeing again in a, I don't know, a week or so, she's been out. So I left a message and she has not responded yet, which is fine, but uh, I'll hear from her soon. Yeah, all right. We're almost to this fountain. I'm gonna head this way a bit. There is some police back there and I don't want to disturb them. All right. Yeah, I think I can cross over here and show you this. And then I will wrap this up. Yeah. All right, cool. There are some people there, but I'll try to show you as best I can. Oh, okay, I won't get too close. There are people there and it looks like they're uh, taking photos for like a wedding or something. Shoot. Okay, I'll show you from here real quick. But I won't be able to get up close. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them, so... I will not be bothering those people there. Um, yeah. So I think that's all we got for this video. I, Maybe another time we'll come back and I'll show you this fountain a little better when no one's taking photos here. And yeah, I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed seeing a different part of my neighborhood. Well, kind of my neighborhood, a little further away. And anyway, yeah, so I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Maybe I won't feel melancholy by then. Maybe we'll be happier. I'm already feeling a little happier now. Anyway, happy, have a happy and healthy rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.